It's time for another episode of Creatively Wrecking This Journal. Cover this page with white things. Okay, I've been collecting white things. So, let's see. White napkin. Those words should show through. And if they don't, well, we'll have to get it off from there. Doesn't matter if it's wrinkled, that just adds. Texture. And I was right, I can still read what it says. difficult to work in the book because it's so bulky and everything. I think I say that every episode lately. I say lately, but it's been quite a while. But anyway. It's got some texture on this little piece. So. Yeah, the edges, you probably won't be able to see it, but there's texture, like little bumps. And, as you can see, I'm not really doing a good job, I'm just putting it on there. Any which way? It is a rectus journal, after all. So. This one, I think I'm just going to kind of fold over instead of rip and put on. This is a piece of a paper doily. Oh, and this is uh, white school glue that I'm using to apply it on. Okay. This is a baby wipe. So you can't really see. The layer of the napkin I just put on, but... Oh, wow. Okay. Put those on top. This is a piece of cardstock. Use it as a kind of an underline. Got stuck together. Maybe? I don't want to do that. Maybe I want to do that. It's not really wanting to cooperate with me. This is a piece of paper towel. It has uh, some. Okay, that didn't. There. It has circular and oval pattern on it. So I'm going to do a piece of that. And there's also this pattern. Which is kind of big. I've got more than one ply on that. That makes sense, I suppose. It's behaving badly. I'm just gonna... Okay, that's 
a piece of Kleenex. This is a piece of toilet paper because it had a pretty pattern. And I put it on upside down. Two ply, so I guess I have to try that again. Oh, more than two. This is just not working. My write this journal stuff hardly ever does <laughs> work the way I intend it to. Oh, what a mess. Oh well. So I'll just leave it. It's another napkin. It has flowers on some of it and a neat border. Okay, I think I have enough paper towel on there. The toilet paper thing didn't work too well, so I'm not going to put those on after all. Okay. These are in good condition, I'm not going to use those. These are paper doilies that I used bits of. I'm going to put one on each side. This is uh, the protective seal thing from a yogurt container. And I don't expect that glue will hold it, but I'm going to give it a try anyway. And put it. Maybe. And this is a piece of styrofoam from a takeout container. And again, I'm not sure if it's going to hold, but we'll see what happens. There. A um, couple of Q-tips. Partially punched butterfly on it. Three small butterflies. A, th a couple of torn pieces. because there's a lot more coming but anyway while that's drying I can do some indents in here maybe if it'll work yeah I guess it's working <laughs> camera is not picking that up but basically just making an abstract with white things this that's a tape roll empty tape roll that's a cover off of uh, milk container 
almond milk and this is a cover off of a juice container. <laughs> Okay, I think oh, maybe one more right there. I think I'm happy with that. And maybe I'll use this little pizza table thing to make dots here and there. Oops. I guess those are more like holes. But, okay, there we go. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. We'll let that dry and I'll be back soon. Okay, so it's not fully dry, but it's dry enough for me to keep going. Don't want to cover that up because I kind of like that. Can you see? There you go. Okay, so I've got the glue gun warming up. I've, I made this flower. It's kind of, a, it's an off white, but it is like white. It is kind of white. So I'm going to say that's good enough, close enough to being white there in the middle. And then I just, this is white cardstock. So, and I put white foam tape. <laughs> Or, uh, yeah, whatever you call that. Those things. And I'm just going to put that right there. Okay. I have a white balloon. Which I think I'm going to pin with, with this white pin. It's a water balloon. Now, what's on the back? Okay, what's on the back of this one? Okay, now, just to be safe, and it's not white, but it's clear, I'm going to put some tape there. And I think I'm going to tape that side too, just to be a little bit safer. And maybe another layer for extra protection. Okay, I have th this colored pencil. As you can see, it broke clear in half. And, and it's the white one, so I'm going to stick that right there as soon as the glue gun cooperates well that's white too the backing from the uh, foam dimensional thingy so I might as well stick that on there too Looks like it's working now. Strangely enough, I have several colors of thread, but I don't have any white thread. So instead of that, I'm going to use uh, yarn. Two different thicknesses of yarn. This is going to get messy. 
Let's see if I got enough on there for that to stick. Possibly. Okay, I'm going to glue the buttons on. I'll put one right there to help hold that yarn and one right there to also help hold the yarn. I have these uh, break bread tie things so I'm going to glue a few of those on here and there just randomly because they have slightly different shapes white twist tie. Mm, probably gonna put it right there. It could go on and on and on like it, it's hard to stop collecting stuff like if I see something white I think of the page and so I and like like I could have I could have put a lot more layers and everything but you gotta stop somewhere sometime. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm gonna stop collecting now. I should have put this down before I put the buttons on. I'm not sure if I can find a place to fit it now. But let's see. Okay. I guess, no. <laughs> Doesn't fit. Okay, and some white reinforcers and their little bits. Okay, that'll do for that. Now I have, now again, like these are supposed, they were white, <laughs> but I think they're so old that they're, they're sort of turning almost yellow. But, like with this flower, I'm going to say that they're close enough to being white. So I'm going to stick a few of those on there with the glue gun, if they stop sticking to me. That is. Okay, and I also have dove confetti. I'm going to glue on with the cook. Mm -hmm. I really want this on there, but I can't put it on. Maybe? Okay, now I'm going to use this piece of yarn to string these beads, maybe. dry enough for me to do what I want to do here. Uniball Signo gel pen. And I'm just going to go over the instruction. And it's only so 
sort of working because of the blue I'm assuming, the white blue. well that'll stay on there but and on the camera you can't really see oh well went over the number that was on that tag thing also with the gel pen so that it would act as a whiteout and I'm still not convinced that's going to stay on there. Okay now I think that other, other than a little bit of journaling on there that's the page. Mm -hmm. 